Oh, hey, look. This rat face piece of shit over here doesn't want Donald Trump supporters to watch his movies or his shows like The Sopranos, which is weird because that's not your movie and it's not your show. You didn't create them. You don't have a say in this, but that's not going to stop this type of woke virtue signaling from a dude who shows denigrated black people and gay people. He still wants all them royalties, boys. He, like every single one of these left-wing cocksuckers over here, is all gas. Out the ass and out the mouth. Nothing from him is going to be sacrificed. He risks nothing. It costs him nothing. He goes out there and he revs up a bunch of dumb, stupid, unfuckable lefty tards into cheering for him while he doesn't actually do anything. Surprise! Surprise! Gateway pundit over here, actor Michael Imperioli's forbid bigots and homophobes from watching his show in response to Supreme Court ruling on same-sex services. So, you mean The Sopranos? Where they make fun of gay people? The, the, the Sopranos where they denigrate gay people and kill gay people? Mock gay people? Slander gay people? Every black dude in The Sopranos is a gang-banging thug? Yeah, yeah, No, um, you guys should be trying to cancel his fucking show, right? Isn't that how that works? Left is? No? No? Oh, oh because he said, oh my god, this is, I don't want Donald Trump supporters. That's my, my neighbor's blowing off uh, fire works early. Nice. I like the sound of that. Hold on, wait for me, bro. Wait for me. Celebrating the stupidity of leftism, my neighbor, boys. Thanks, SA. But yeah, the, this this guy just ran out there, ran his mouth, and said, look, oh, 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 oh I'm allowed to discriminate now. The real Michael in Italy. Nobody knows who the fuck you are, dude. <laughs> this is fascinating. The only people who know who you are are 40-something-year-old guys who used to watch The Sopranos. And we're not going to watch it anymore anyway. This is... You're in... He's in Goodfellas, Abe? Another movie where they're not very kind to gay people. That's weird. Oh, no, now I can't show you all gay people. You shouldn't be taking any royalties from Goodfellas or Sopranos. And you should give that money back, right? 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 Shouldn't you take all of your... He should come out and say, hey, all the royalties moving forward are going to go to gay people. But he won't. Because he just wants to run his mouth. He doesn't, he doesn't want this to actually cost him anything. And he says, listen, I've decided to forbid bigots and homophobes from watching The Sopranos, The White Lotus. I don't even know what the fuck that one is. Goodfellas or any other movie or TV show that I've been in. Why? You don't get us. Why? This doesn't even make any sense. Right? You didn't even create these. You, you, I don't I don't even remotely remember you from Goodfellas. But you didn't make these. You don't get a say. It says, Thank you, Supreme Court, for allowing me to discriminate and exclude those who I don't agree with and am opposed to. USA, USA, USA. Hate and ignorance is not a legitimate point of view. But your your point of view is hateful. Your your point of view is hateful. You're saying, if, if I don't believe with your political ideology, uh, I have to give up core aspects of my religion, and I have to believe everything you believe with your political ideology, or I can go fuck myself, is what you're saying. That, that's fine, by the way. I'm totally on board with that. But you don't then get to say, but there's no room for Donald Trump's hate here. We hate Donald Trump's love. Or we love Donald Trump's hate here. You know what I'm talking about. No room for hate group. You're the most hateful fuckers on the planet. These left-wing nut jobs who are mentally fucking ill, all of you, the whole lot of you fucking crazy people, you're the angriest goofballs on the planet, which is hilarious considering that you totally legitimately won an election, right? You totally legitimately took the Senate. You had the House for a couple of years. You've got all of the rest of the Hollywood kid fuckers on your side, sports ball players, these fucking dumb goofball singers. Everybody's like, and you're the angriest fuckers on the planet. That's awesome. Hope that works out well for you. Anyway, it's called dehumanization. This is all predicated upon this woman over here who didn't want to make a gay wedding website. Now, there's some confusion on whether the person that wanted it even actually exists. I think we're in a psychological operation, by the way. How the fuck did a court case without the other side being a real dude trying to get a gay website for him and his lover up and running. How did that even make it to the Supreme Court without this being a psychological operation? But let's just play along with it. This is all fine. She's not discriminating against all gay people. 
She says, I don't want to make a website for a gay wedding. That is counter to my religious beliefs. They will not make a Muslim web designer do this, and they wouldn't go try to find a Jewish web designer to do this. She says, if you're gay and you have a real estate business, more than happy to make you a fucking website, right? If you're a gay dude collecting pogs, more than happy to make you a website. You into retro video games and you're a gay dude, and so it's gay retro everything, awesome. Be more happy to make you a website. This website, she doesn't want to make because it violates her religious tenets. If somebody wanted, if a gay couple said, hey, I want you to uh, make a website so we could go hunt down and murder, I don't know, whales or something, she could be like, well, you know what? I, maybe I don't want you to kill whales. So uh, this person is discriminating upon which website she wants to build. Not the people who are doing it, right? If the gay couple want anything else, she'd be more happy to do it. But she doesn't want to make a gay wedding one. And so, of course, they, they attack her. If this even exists, who knows? I guess we're going to find out some weird shit about this entire situation. But the left-hand side has turned this into, oh, well, she's not going to, she won't make gay, she won't make websites for gay people. She hates gay people. No, she'll make a website for gay people on anything that doesn't violate her religious tenets. You would not go to a Muslim catering service and say, give me that fucking pork. Right? How come no one's taking uh, Muslims to the Supreme Court? Hey, no, I want you to serve me alcohol. I want you, I want a Muslim catering service to sell alcohol and pork chop sandwiches at my wedding. The, the Muslim would be like, no, that violates my religious tenets. And an insane person would be like, oh, cool. All right, I'll go find somebody else. But no, of course, left wing want to attack. And then it, this, this dumb fucker comes out and uses his platform and his... Does it even have it? This has got 3,000 likes. It's the three, nobody, again, welcome to 2023, fucker. Nobody knows who the fuck you are. I shouldn't even be talking about you. You're, you're, we get way more comments on this fucking video than you got on your fucking thing, you moron. But that's, that's the whole point of leftism. It's attack, 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 and break everything. So, um, no, she's not discriminating against gay people. She's, she, she's not going to discriminate against gay people. She doesn't want to make a very specific website that violates her religious beliefs. And so the only religion you're allowed to shit on in this country are Christians. And that's not an accident. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video, supporting the channel. If you want to be kept up to date on these lefty fucking lunatics like this dumb asshole not remotely understanding what's going on but being one of the loudest fuckers on the internet today, hit the subscribe button and make way because the salt must flow.